Hello, welcome back. Now, yesterday was a busy day, so I'm taking it easy today. We had a bit of sunshine this morning, but then it disappeared. And it has taken me all day to buy something for the shed, because apparently there's a storm coming. I've bought some screws for the shed. But these are the ones with the plastic casing in to stop the the rain from getting. So you put the screw in there, pop it into the wood, and then you just cover the top, and that creates a seal, which then stops any water getting in. So hopefully they will be long enough for the task. Right, let's try and work out where the struts are. There's one there. And I've been sensible, I have brought my ladder down so I'm not stretching. Oh! Because it's already starting to pick up. Now, Right, let's make sure now we're in the wood. Are these long enough? I'm not quite sure now. Now that I'm up here. Right. Anyway, it's all that I have. So it it has to it has to work. I've missed it. This is the problem now. You have to do it the first time, otherwise you end up with a load of holes. Right, if I just put that one by the side, but close enough so the plastic goes over the hole. I should be okay. Yes, that's right. That's the first one done. I don't have that many because they only had one set in the shop. And then they didn't take a card, then you took cash. But the problem was I ran down there so quick that I only had a card. So I said, right, I'll come back in a few days. And then I was mentioning this to one of the other shops and she said, look, there's three pound, go back and get them now and you can pay me back in a week. So that's what I did. Oh. Right, one, so we'll put three on each side. So I think it's the lip on this side that caught the wind last time when it moved. Because it is a very windy sight. While I've got the screwdriver, I'll attach the camera as well. Can't stay long today because the cat's food is due to turn up in the post today. I find if you buy in bulk, then it works out cheaper. Oh.
problem is the thread on top of the ouch that's hot the thread on top of the screw is starting to just disintegrate that's it was so cheap but this is this is all they had unfortunately There you go, that'll do it me. All right, so it's one, two, three. Let's pop around the side. Oh, I forgot to get a battery for the, for the clock. All right, let's see if I can get it right first time. Ouch. Stabbed myself then. It's because I'm tired. That's what it is. No, that's missed it. I could tell. As soon as it reached the bottom. All right, just pop one more in here. Right, I'm gonna carry on. I'll meet you in the shed. Certainly starting to whip up now. I think I might have got that on just in time. Right, I've got the paraffin. So I'm going to put it into the burner as well. Right, I should have a funnel somewhere to make it easier. Bring the flame down. You don't want it too high. There you go. And it's always best to hang these things up. I'm quite looking forward to the winter now, when I can be sat in the shed with a paraffin lamp going on. There's plenty of holes in the shed, so don't be worried about ventilation. It's becoming a very relaxing space, especially after the kettle's boiled. I found some ginger nuts, so that's a bit of luck. Oh, so I came down this morning and I did clean up a bit after the fiasco of yesterday, trying to get the whiteboard in. So I did a bit of cleaning up. I've got two bags of rubbish somewhere to take home with me. In fact, thinking about it, where have I put it? I have a little two tea strain saucers. I'd say that fast on a Saturday night. So I will bring one down in order. Just one of those days today, all fingers and thumbs. And a cloth. I need to bring a little cloth down. And I've got loads of tea towels, so I'll bring one that I'll bring one of them down. So yes, it's been a very relaxing day today. You can't beat a dunked ginger nut. That's what I always say, anyway. So a busy week ahead. I'm waiting for my shed to turn up. 
but I can't stay too long today because I have a delivery coming that caps food at five o'clock and it's 10 to five now. So I think I'll just drink this up and then head home. So I'll see you there. I must say the kitchen feels as if it's complete now. I thought the cat food was due to arrive. It might arrive while I'm showing you this in fact. I realized I've left my tripod down the shed so you're sat on top of the microwave so don't dent it. Now, like I said, I thought my cat food was going to turn up, but it hasn't. But my bulbs have. And I thought I would just give you a quick little show of how they turn up. You get these nice little postcards, which I always had a plan to get some frames and put them up in the shed. But I never get around to it. You get a small booklet that tells you how to plant your bulbs. You then get a little package that includes your invoice. Shall I even look at the price? Oh, not as bad as I thought. Oh, there's two pages. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll just pop that to one side. <laughs> you get a bag. I've got loads of these bags that I've collected throughout the... Oh, but I've got... I think I, I think I know what they've done now. What they've done... I put two orders in. One on the 7th and one on the 8th. And what they've done is... They've put them both... So this is my... Narcissus, the daffodil bulbs, and my tulip and hyacinths. So they've put the two orders into the one and they've only charged me shipping on one of them. Which is good. So I have two bags. There you go. Amber and Topsy. Now, I'm not going to show you the bulbs, because bulbs are bulbs are bulbs. But this is how they are packa packaged. See, they come in rather attractive little bags. I'm going to be sensible, and I'm not going to take them out of the bags to inspect them. I trust old Farmer Gracie. That's a good name, isn't it? Farmer Gracie. That could be a male or a female. But I will go through and just check that everything is here on the list. But first of all, a cup of tea. Ah, now, I know some of you will scoff at this, but I think there's something wrong with our water in this area. And I've said it for 30 years. So I'm trying a period of putting bottled water into my tea. I knew somebody that I lived with in London and he used to do the same thing. And look at that. A delivery. Someone's knocking at me door. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Right, just pop them to one side. What I was saying is, it's nice to open a bottle where the top comes off. So we'll pop some of that in there. And I'm just going to try it for a month and see how I feel because yes the water doesn't taste nice in this area and what I'm trying to get into a habit of in fact I've already got one there is put one in to be chilled so 
I can drink it straight from the fridge. And if you buy in bulk, it doesn't work out that expensive. So I'm even more determined now this winter to get the pantry under the stairs sorted because I need space for storing these things. I had a comment on one of the videos the other week. Somebody said, I can't get over how much stuff you buy. I think people forget. I came to Wales with virtually nothing. I left everything in London. I just came with a small van. Maybe on the video the van looked a lot bigger than it is. But a small van which contained a bicycle, a computer. Uh, what else did it? It had a tables and chairs. And there wasn't a, a books, there were loads of books. So I'm having to rebuild up a house. And we will get to a point, pretty soon I think, where I won't be buying anything at all. Right, this is for... This is for this 24 hour feed that I keep saying that I'm going to do. This is a microphone. There you go. That is a special microphone that will attach to the side of the shed. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it more over to the river and close to the tree. And then that way, we'll get to hear what the birds are. I was thinking I'll have to put a sign or at the door so so when people come to visit they will know that they are being broadcast. There it is. Audio monitoring on these premises. But there must be a way. I'll have to explore it. That if I get some friends to come and in order to protect their privacy there must be a way that I can press a button and it'll just kill the feed for about for about 20 minutes or so. Right, what's in this one? I can't remember. So yes, there will come a time when there'll be no parcels and at that time then I will cancel my Amazon Prime. Oh, we need to go next week so remind me, well, you don't have to, because I'll re I will have a reminder myself, because I put my trousers on today, and I put them on a bit too quick, and I've got a bit of a, a slit underneath the legs, and it got, it was about that big this morning, but now it's about that big, so it's a bit drafty. And I do only own one pair of black trousers, and then I had those trousers for the gardening. So I've got two pairs, but I don't believe in having, you know, 16 pairs and eight pairs of shoes and stuff like this. Right, that is a Christmas gift, so I can't sh bring that out. So if that's the Christmas gift, what's in the other box then? Because I thought that's, what's in this one then? I'm a bit perplexed now. I thought this was the Christmas gift because it looked big. What is that? Oh yeah, right. Listen to this now. A friend of mine said, I'm in the area, can I call in Saturday and stay till Sunday morning? So I went, yes that's fine. Then I realised, ah, my duvet for the spare bed is at the cleaners and I can't get it back till Monday so what I'll do is I'll buy a sleep a sleeping bag so they can use this and then what happens this morning I then get a text going very sorry but I can't come now. I need to go to Bristol. So I've just bought a sleeping bag that I no longer need. 
So I'm taking this as a sign that it's the start of me getting my camping equipment together. So I will leave this as is. But as I've said throughout the spring and the summer, at some point I would like to do a bit of camping up on top of the mountainside in the forestry. So at some point I would have had to have bought one anyway. So at least I've got one now. Right, let's tidy up. Looks like a bomb's dropped again. I find this with a small house. You've always got to keep on top of the cleaning and keep on top of keeping the place clear.